So did you bring your breast pump with you, or did you just decide you were going to nurse here? Yeah. Okay, that's good. So we'll, we'll make yeah, that work. Yeah, I figured we can figure it out. We can, yeah. I mean, I did it most of yesterday. Okay, good. The pain, so. Well, I mean, I, I would love to be able to help you get her on without any pain, because I think that's definitely possible. Yeah. Because if it's just on one side, usually then that tells you it's not something like anatomical in her. You know, sometimes babies have tongue tie and other things but you would have it on both sides if that was the case. So it's probably just adjusting how she latches. Yeah, and, and I think where I pumped it all last night too, I'm hoping that maybe it relieved any pressure that was built up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I couldn't believe how much I pumped out of it last night. Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes if babies, <laughs> yeah, sometimes if babies get on the breast shallowly, they also don't drain it as well. Mm -hmm. So the shallow latch can cause both, you know, uh, nipple pain and trauma and it can, slow the milk flow. So that may be one reason too. How long had it been since you had nursed her on that side? Um, I, I usually when I start to nurse her, I'll, I start with one and then the next time I'll do the other. So uh -huh. I've, I've been alternating uh -huh. between the two. And um, so it was about what, three and a half hours. Maybe? Oh yeah, okay. But like it had been slowly building up, I think. Cause mm -hmm. like every day, like, the one on the left always hurt a little more when she first got on, mm -hmm. um, but then by yesterday it was just like, it just hurt like the whole time, and then I had my first doctor's appointment, and um, they mentioned that I might want to pump a little to relieve some of the pressure first, and then mm -hmm. I was like, I'm just going to pump the whole thing and see what happens, and yeah. I got so much out of it, I was yeah. like, okay, <laughs> maybe that was why, yeah. and now I think it's just... It was just so sore that it just needed to recover a little bit. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So sometimes moms, you know, decide to do a little pumping to give it a rest. Mm -hmm. um, what's most important though is to try to figure out what the cause is and see if you can correct it. Because once you do that, that you know, as I mentioned, there's there's actually a place in your baby's mouth that if you can get the nipple back there, then that then that there's no friction or pressure. Mm -hmm. We nickname that the comfort zone. And so if you can get the nipple back there at every feeding, then you can keep nursing and still heal. Mm -hmm. So that's the trick is to do that. So I'm glad you came. <laughs> we have to find the comfort zone. We have to find the comfort zone. And if you can do that and if you can do it, you know, make sure that you can get her on yourself yeah. so that it gets in there, then you're, you're smooth sailing. Yeah. That's what we got to do by the end. Yeah. We find the comfort zone. Michelle decides to try to nurse Vivian on her really sore breast for the first time in a couple of days. She starts by putting Vivian in more of a cradle position, and this confuses Vivian because it puts more pressure on her side and back rather than on her front. Vivian's tummy is not resting on Michelle, and Vivian is still struggling. Michelle rolls Vivian into a more tummy down position and adjusts Vivian's angle across her body until they're both comfortable. Now she's in a natural breastfeeding position. This touch activates the pressure points on her chest, abdomen, and the inside of Vivian's knees. One option Michelle could try is to stimulate Vivian's feet because Vivian is trying to get foot contact. Michelle moves on to adjusting her breast. Just pushing on the top of her breast helps, but doesn't quite do it. Putting her whole hand around her breast and squeezing horizontally so Vivian can get her mouth around the breast finally does the trick. Michelle has adjusted her body, adjusted her baby, and adjusted her breast. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, because usually when you get to the comfort zone, if there is, there is some damage. Yeah, so much better. Good. Because I would, I would be holding it the whole time, like yeah. kicking my feet, like ah, this hurts. Uh huh. For like a minute, and then I'd be like, okay. <laughs> so this is already like past that. Yeah. Oh. If you already have some damage, even if you get it in the comfort zone, it might not still feel a hundred percent comfortable. But just like what you described, if it feels way better, mm -hmm. you, you've gotten there. Oh, this is the position for us. <laughs> oh my goodness, so much better. Yay. Yeah, if she was um, on there very shallow, this 
probably how I got back up. Exactly. Because if, if uh, your nipple is compressed against her hard palate, then that's what causes the damage. And if you, you can feel with your tongue in your own mouth, if you go back beyond your hard palate, you'll notice it starts to turn soft. Mm -hmm. And that's near where the comfort zone is. So if you can get your nipple back there, then there's no friction or pressure. Mm -hmm. And then, as I say, you can keep nursing and yet still heal. But if every you put her on, you know, you get that compression, yeah. then that's going to continue to hurt and maybe even cause trauma, cracks or bleeding or whatever. So the good news is it's a, it's a fixable problem. So sometimes moms just think, well, you know, soreness is a normal part of breastfeeding. And it really isn't. It's really a sign that some adjustment is needed.